uh, we're working on a gas dryer and it's not wasn't heating so here's what we did this fuse is good if this would blow the gas assembly wouldn't get no gas this is working it's allowing power to get to the gas assembly this is okay it's going we got the lid switch plugged in right the door shut now we're watching it run and is it still coming up glowing yes yeah, it is glowing this is the fifth time this is the fifth time okay this the igniter's all right because that's coming on and when that kicks back off that means that bimetal inside that sensor is kicking it off so it should be allowing gas to come and what happens with these is they get warm or hot that's starting to get a little warm but you, did you feel that? look like to me it ain't it, I'm gonna tell you, look like to me it ain't kicking back on as quick as it will to me but that wouldn't uh, The motor's running, allowing power to get to the gas assembly. The gas assembly is basically working because the igniter's coming on, the flame sensor's shutting it off. So I would say that uh, these coils are probably bad. That's why it wouldn't heat. Yeah, we got some coal. We need to put some more coals on it. Try them. I got some in that uh, box of dryer parts that I got in the trunk. I don't know if they're any good or not. They might, but I don't usually put them up. I don't usually put the bad ones back in the part box. That'd be kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, let's uh. Let's hook some gas up to it and blow it up. <laughs> well, you want to go and You know for a fact you had it to gas, the gas was on and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Go to the next step. Doo -doo -doo. Sometimes you can't put you don't push them in far enough and they'll give you trouble. Alright. Sits on there like a thing. Cut these screws back down. Ain't no. Alright, now cut her on, plug her in. Let's blow her up. See if she'll fire her off. Clear the staging area. <laughs> All authorized personnel move back 5,000 yards. We're finna fire this puppy off. You got it plugged in? You got the gas on? All systems is go. Alright, I heard it click. That means it's getting power to everything. I've got my hand on the door over here. I can open the door right quick. If I had to. Haha! -ha! Houston, we have ignition. <laughs> all right all right okay let's uh i'm gonna open the door right here to kill the flying yeah see i opened the door and that killed it we're getting power if we're getting power here to the gas assembly then when this cools off right here it makes contact between those two wires and turns that on 
that will come on, but these will not energize because this is pulling too much amper off to make it good. So what it has to do is it's wired in a way that all this complicated wire See it click on in? Alright, what it's got to do is it's got to go ahead and heat up this filament on this igniter and then when it gets so hot, all these are energized right now. If that thing's energized, that thing's energized, all these are energized. But these can't come on yet because this is still in a circuit. So that thing bends, shuts that off. Now, that igniter is now a thermocouple. If for some reason the gas didn't light, the igniter would cool down and the coil would cut off. So it's even cycling now. So we can put this puppy back together. All right, she's back at, back together again. Together again. That right there is a little peephole where you can look in there and see what's a going on. Did that see it glowing in there? And why ain't it firing off, James Gunn? Because we forgot to pay the gas bill. <laughs> uh, they don't get it.